Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us start with our training for SSRS and we will start with some notes about installation of SSRS and then we will be creating our first SSRS report, ok? So for the purpose of this video tutorial, let us go to SSDT. Now before creating the first project for SSRS or creating the first report for SSRS, we need to understand something about the installation, okay? So installation for SSRS will require the administrator user, the built-in administrator user, okay? So in case if the built-in administrator user is not enabled in your PC, then in order to enable it, you can uh, go to run, type cmd, okay? And then open cmd command prompt as administrator and then type this command that is net user administrator slash active colon yes okay so this will enable the administrator account the default built-in administrator account okay now once this administrator account has been enabled you go and change the password for this account and then you install your ssrs using this administrator account okay so now once the installation is done you can go to SSRS reporting services configuration manager. Okay. So once you go to reporting services configuration manager, then we will understand these options in detail in some future video. But in this video tutorial, let us understand two things. First is web service URL. So this is the URL on which the rep reports are available okay so let it connect so this is the url on which our reports once we develop are deployed okay and this is the url through which the end users access the reports okay so let us copy this okay and there is another url okay and this is that is the report manager url so if you click this then this through the second URL that is report manager URL you can change various settings and configurations for your reports so this is for the, for the report developers okay this is not for the end users whereas this URL is for end users because end users access our reports which have been deployed on the reporting services website using this URL okay so let us copy this URL now first now let us create the first report ssrs report okay now let's go and create a new project so let's select reporting services it will give two options so we'll go for the first option that is using a report wizard okay so let us go and select ssrs project folder let us name this project as SSRS project okay so let's copy this paste let us select project wizard okay report wizard let's click ok so now the report wizard starts okay so let's click next let us first of all to connect to database okay we will require a data source so using this data source we will be connecting to the database and then we will be fetching the data using a query right and that query we will call as data set okay so first of all let us name this as ssrs db okay and let us connect to our database ssrs db okay now if you want to use this connection that is this data source only in your this particular report that we are creating right now that is only in your first report then you can just click next okay so that will be a data source embedded in your report but if you want to use this particular database connection for multiple reports then you can use make this particular data source as shared data source 
if you create if you click over here that is make this as a shared data source then this data source will be created over here in this folder shared data source folder and it will be then available to all the reports that we create so let us make this a shared data source and it is also a good practice to make it a shared data source if you are connecting to the same database in multiple reports so that when we move from our development environment to production environment let's say and our server changes then we need to make change only in one particular place okay so we'll we can update the connection string at one particular place and it gets updated or reflected at in all the reports that are using that particular data source so let's click next now let's build the query this query we will call as so we have added the table let us select all the columns okay although it is not a good practice to have star in our query but this this is a first sample report so let us go with star okay okay so this query that we are using to retrieve data for this uh, first report this we will call as data set and there are two types of reports that we can create tabular and matrix uh, we will look at matrix reports in some future video tutorial but in this report let us go with the tabular format now let us click let us select the columns that we want okay so except the first column we want all the columns okay now there are three parts in this uh, wizard we will look at all these parts in detail in some future video tutorial okay so let us click next basically the head this portion that is the top of the page is the page section okay then over here these are the detail rows okay these are the detail rows so that's why we want all our columns but if you want to create a group that is the groups which uh, organizes this detail rows among different groups then we can create groups by putting column over here okay so in this first report we will not be creating group or we will not be having anything in the page section we will be having everything in the detail part okay so then let's click next now over here you can select the format okay so let's go ahead with the first format now this is very important we have to provide the report server url that is the url where our report will be deployed okay so this is the report server url right so let us copy this and let us provide it over here okay paste okay so this is the place where the reports will be deployed and deployment folder this will be the folder under which it will be deployed and we can see this folder if we go back over here okay so in this section in the report manager url we can see the folders okay so let's go and click next so let us call this as first report first report okay let us click finish okay so now our first report is created if you want you can change the label of the report let's call it as sales report okay now if you want to view the data of the report you can go to preview section okay so this is our our report will look like okay and if you let's save everything let us deploy now if you go to deployment properties then th this is very important property target server url and this is what we specified in the wizard okay this is the url that we had specified in the wizard okay and that's where our reporting server is lying okay web service is lying so let us click and deploy so we can see that one deployment has succeeded that is the deployment for one report has succeeded okay and what it has deployed it has deployed the data source first and then the report okay then the first report so let us go to our url okay so if you refresh it then you will see the data source folder okay in this the data source has been deployed and we will see the project folder in which the first report has been deployed if you click the first report then we can see the report okay so this is our first sales report okay so 
i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you